Why are you why are you bullying me? I have been waiting so long for this game to finally be announced. The first of Nautica, bro, I played the shit out of that game. That was one of my fa- it still is to this day one of my favorite survival games ever. I don't know if you guys know about uh, Below Zero, but that was kind of like technically their second game, but it was initially supposed to be a DLC, but it, it wasn't as good as the first one. It kind of disappointed compared to the first game. The first game is still like phenomenal though in terms of, like it's still one of the best survival games probably ever made in my opinion, and it's so aesthetically pleasing. It's got like that sense of horror because it's like deep underwater i hate the ocean so like it, it perfectly encapsulates that fear that i have of the ocean you know it's, it's got just great art style and it's just an overall good survival game pretty good story too but yeah no this game i've been waiting for subnautica 2 for so long i thought like before they had announced like they were working on it uh, about a year or two ago i didn't think they were going to release it until like 2030 but finally they actually came out with a trailer and uh, I, I, I actually saw it on Instagram. I was just scrolling Instagram the other day and I saw, oh, Subnautica 2. I didn't realize that uh, it had dropped and apparently it dropped two days ago with only two and a half million views. I feel like this, I feel like this should have more views, but yeah. So here we are, Subnautica 2 teaser trailer. I wonder if they'll show the release date at the end of the trailer. I'm just excited to see this, what this game has to offer and I've been waiting so long for this. I'm so hyped. So yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. We got the coral reef area. Okay. The the safe shallows. Are they asleep? Holy shit. Looks like real people. What the fuck? It's a big ass crab. Oh shit, there's like a hole in the middle. Like a whirlpool. Oh, he got sucked into the whirlpool. Oh shit. Oh, that's scary as hell. What is that? What? Oh, okay, it's a person. I thought it was a creature. Wait, is that the chick from the first, from uh, Below Zero? What the hell? Oh, yep, you're done. Yeah, you're fucked. Oh, you're fucked. Okay. No release date. Oh, or, there we go. Early access coming 2025. There we go. Sorry for stopping it. And it's on Steam. Let's go. All right. There we go. So they didn't show much, obviously, gameplay-wise. But I think what caught my eye mostly was this right here. This part. This part looks awesome, dude. Look at that. We got the like the, sh the safe shallows area. This looks like a... Uh, what's that one that was in the first game? The fucking uh, boomerang? I think the boomerang fish? That's what that looks like. It looks like one of the fish from the first game. I can't remember what the name was. I'll put it up on the screen if I can remember. But yeah, that's uh, that's from the first game, I believe. So, something that looks similar to that, at least. But this looks, this looks amazing, dude. It's like very colorful, very vibrant. And obviously that, you know, that's kind of how the safe shallows were in the first game too. But yeah, that's awesome. It's very good visually. It looks amazing. I'm pretty sure they're using Unreal Engine 5 for this and they're like cranking up the graphics for this new game. I wonder if the characters will actually look this realistic in the game or if this is just for the cinematics. Probably just for the cinematics, but. So it looks like they have, yeah, these big ass crabs. Oh my God, look at that thing. These big ass crabs that uh, basically disguise themselves as coral reefs. That's crazy. That's a big, f that's a big creature. That's like a huge chunk of a coral reef. I wonder if that'll actually like, if you pass one of those or if you perturb one of those in the game, they'll actually like come up and attack you or will move because that's like, that's a big ass creature, especially for the safe shallows or what I assume is the safe shallows, this area. And then he gets like sucked into this hole. Yeah, I wonder if this is like a part of that area. Or maybe it's just, it could just be for the cinematics, but yeah, some kind of like drop off into like a hole. I guess kind of like they had with like the, uh, the glosh room area because like they had the safe shallows and then they also had like the little drop offs into the, gl the glosh room area or whatever it was called. So that could be like going into a different biome. And I wonder if there's like a, actually a creature down there too. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming there is considering the trailer. There's that, that big ass creature. I got to see that again. Can I upscale this? I can. Ooh, that looks nice. That's a good shot. I like that. That's a really cool shot. Wow. Okay, there we go. We get a good look at it. Okay, so this is, I guess this is the new, yeah, this is the new 
C truck, I'm assuming. Interesting. So you got like the window that goes pretty much <clears throat> like across the whole front of it. You have the little battery. I think that's the, where you put the battery in the side. Yeah, two lights on the ends of it. Okay. It looks it looks somewhat similar to the the C truck from uh below zero. I don't know if I like it as much as the dude. I honestly, unpopular opinion, but I, I like I like the Sea Moth better still. I, I I really you know I miss the Sea Moth design because it was it just looked cool. And then once they got to the Sea Truck and Below Zero, it just looks kind of funky. It, it's more similar to the Sea Truck for sure than it is to the Sea Moth. And I wonder if they'll have like a bigger submarine like the uh the Cyclops because the Cyclops was pretty cool. Below Zero only had the Sea Truck, and the only way you could make a bigger vehicle was. If you connected more, you connected more like things to the sea truck and basically made it a train, but they had no like Cyclops. I really hope they have like a bigger submarine, like a Cyclops in here. That would be cool to see. I guess as someone who liked the first game better, I'm looking for things that are more similar to the first game, but also kind of expand on that. And I hope they kind of stick with that more. I really just don't like the sea truck as much, but yeah. We can look at the interior real quick. Okay, so but it's about a similar wheel you use. I don't, I can't tell from this image if you can connect anything on the back of it, like in, in uh, Below Zero. That thing looks crazy. That thing looks nuts. Wow. It's like a, it's like a Kraken or something. What the hell? Holy shit, yeah. Wow, that is a big ass monster. It's got like some, is that like it's brain on the top or something? It's got little claws in the ends too. Interesting. But yeah, wow. That's a cool ass creature, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wonder if, like, that hole is going to be, like, its domain. Like, you go down there, and it's just kind of chilling there. Kind of like they had with the Shadow Leviathan in the Crystal area in Below Zero. Because that was kind of, like, its domain. I wonder if this, like, hole is kind of, like, its domain. I also wonder what the depth limit is in this game. Because the first game, it was, like, what, 2,000 meters you can go down? I think, tw or 2,400? I gotta look this up. The deepest depth was, oh, 1,700 meters below the surface. Cause you, dude, imagine if you can go down to like 10,000, that would be insane. I think they probably are going to expand uh, on the verticality of everything because, I mean, it's going to be, it's it's obviously going to be a bigger game. I, I'm more excited to see, like, when I look forward to these games, like the Subnautica games, kind of like with Below Zero, the first thing in my mind is like, what are all the creatures going to look like? I'm glad we get to see one here, but I wonder what the other one's going to look like. And I also wonder if like, some if there's like some chance that they'll bring back oh no i don't think they will bring back reboot leviathan because i think it's on a different planet right okay yeah okay never mind yeah so it takes place on a new planet so scratch like half of the shit i just said um i forgot that they said that so yeah we're getting all new creatures pretty pretty much i mean again that fish at the beginning kind of looked like one of the ones from the the first game but still but yeah no that's what i'm most excited to see is the creatures what they do with them how big they can get how aggressive you know just because those are like the magnum opus of the game is the huge like scary creatures that you don't know you don't want to go near that's a pretty crazy size comparison too he's huge and something something tells me that he's not even the biggest creature in this game i don't think they would show the biggest creature in the teaser trailer they probably saved that. Oh, so he like expands his little his little tentacles. Pause. <laughs> we finally get our title card too, which is which is awesome. The early access is coming 2025. I wonder if that's gonna be the first half of the year or the second half of the year. Wow, that was so, the Subnautica 2 teaser trailer. I am def definitely intrigued. Um, I mean, there's no doubt my wallet is going to gravitate towards this game as soon as it comes out, but I really hope they have like a Cyclops, like a like an actual submarine. That would be nice. Oh, and I also wonder if they have like the Void. Like, I wonder if instead of having the Void be just like nothingness, it has like actual things in it. Like there's there's like a, a specifically Void creature. I know technically the first game had the, the Ghost Leviathan, but I feel like they could make something scarier than that. Make it to where the void is an actual biome you can go into, and it has actual resources, actual creatures, uh, like points of interest and stuff like that. Because if they had that, that would make an incentive to actually go into the void, and the void is scary as shit. That is like, in the first game, that's probably the scariest thing in the game is the void. Either the void or the area by the, uh, by where the Aurora crashed. I also wonder what they're gonna do with that, with the story of how, like, we got on this planet in the first place. I wonder if it's gonna branch off the same idea like oh we're like a, a big company that's in space or whatever and we crash land or maybe maybe there's some other different storyline i don't know I, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that would be like the cause of crash landing on the planet or the cause of being on the planet it's probably it's probably going to be some sort of crash landing if i had to guess maybe even we'll see um altera come back that would be cool if they bring back altera because it's kind of like 
the overarching company and they're kind of responsible for some things oh and also precursors i forgot about that there was so much lore with like the aliens and the precursors in the first game and they had all kinds of structures around the area they're probably gonna have, they've got to have that in this game there's got to be precursor stuff anyway hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and analysis even though <clears throat> my analysis is like from a 10 iq individual and be on the lookout for me making a series the minute this game releases because i promise you i will be doing that all right, so I almost didn't notice this, but apparently in the description of the trailer, they actually have a link to the Steam page for it. So they have a Steam page for it, too. I cannot believe this. Dude, they even got photo. They even got pictures. Okay, I almost missed this. What? Dude, they got... Okay, so I guess these are like the Sea Glide, but it's handheld, it seems. So it's like gloves. Instead of the Sea Glide being one singular thing, it's gloves. This biome or this part right here kind of gives off like below zero vibes, I'm not gonna lie. This thing right here looks similar to something I've seen in the other games. This guy right here, that is completely different. I don't know what the fuck that is. Next one is this one. That is a crazy looking boy right there. The graphics look great. Just like the hands, the shadows on that look amazing. It's super, I love, I love, I love the vibrancy. I love how vibrant it is. Oh, what is that? <gasps> what? What the hell? Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I didn't even see that. What in the world? Dude, the game looks so clear. And then I guess that's the that's a back view of the uh of the new vehicle. It's got little little tentacles on the front, big ass arms. He looks cool. That's the coolest thing I've seen so far. That little guy uh, other than the big ass creature in the trailer, but he looks really cool. Oh my god. Oh my dude. This is amazing looking. This looks so cool. This thing looks like the, kind of looks like the squid shark from Below Zero. It's like a whole lava zone. It, it, I guess it's the equivalent to the lava zone in the first game. This looks, this is like the coolest looking biome I've seen so far. That is really cool looking. What the? Oh, okay. So that, I guess that's the, that's the UI when you scan. They got the scanner again. Of course, they got to have the scanner. It's Subnautica. Yeah, these little guys, they look kind of like just like sharks oh that i think that's the same one we saw in this one i think it's those guys yeah that's what that is it's those guys okay so those look like kind of like one of the common creatures you find just kind of roaming about in like the safe shallows <clears throat> this up here on the top that looks different though whatever that is is it different i can't tell yeah it kind of looks different it looks like a dolphin of some kind interesting looks looks like it could be friendly these guys do not look friendly look at those teeth that, that does not look friendly Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, there it is. Immerse yourself in a new adventure with Subnautica 2, an open water survival game from the creators of the Subnautica series. Play alone or with friends as you explore alluring biomes and discover fascinating creatures. Craft vehicles, tools, and bases to survive this mysterious alien world. A new world awaits alongside an all-new story. You're a pioneer travel. Oh, here we go. Th this is the backstory. You are a pioneer traveling to a distant world, but something is amiss. The ship's AI insists you carry on the mission. This world is too dangerous for humans to survive unless you change what it means to be human. What creatures, intelligent or otherwise, await your arrival? This is the big thing, is that it's co-op, which Subnautica fans have been asking so much for this, and I'm glad that they- I'm glad that they have it. I'm gl so glad they made co-op, because the first game would have been so fun with friends, but I'm glad that we can experience a Subnautica game with friends. Bases are more customizable with an overhauled building system. Submersibles. Okay, see? Multiple submersibles, so that means we're prop- <laughs> Jesus Christ. I almost just fucking died there. Um, so I, I guess we're getting more than just the sea truck looking thing. I guess we're, I hope that means we're also getting a Cyclops or a Cyclops type thing. We're going to get, we, we're going to get multiple vehicles, obviously. That's great. That's, that's good to see. That's awesome. I just, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Anyway, for real this time, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> and I'll see y'all later. Peace.